Yeah. Good evening. Scroll I'd like up. to call the, to order the um, West Bend Community Memorial Library Board meeting for Tuesday, September 21st. Um, I'd ask for a motion to approve the agenda. Motion. A second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Uh, any discussion? If not, all in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I would also like to call for a consent agenda for the library board meeting minutes. Um, <clears throat> actually, the expenditures should be up under the consent agenda, and I did not catch that. Because normally we consent to the library board meeting minutes and the expenditures. Um, we can treat it this way, may not. Both are, okay, we'll leave it so we don't have to go back and open the agenda motion. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Do we have a second? Second. second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, financial reports and fund balance. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was nothing. We just got some interest. That was about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> interest as money or interest as somebody concerned? <laughs> interest as money. <laughs> okay. Everybody's concerned. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, does anyone have any questions for Joseph? Is this one about the uh, same too? Mm. Well, it's after this one. Okay. No, that that's that's okay. Okay. If not, we will move on to B. Um, the library expenditures. Okay. Do um, may I have a yes? Yes, please. I'll second. Motion and a second. Are there any questions on the expenditures? Okay. If not, I'll call for uh, all in favor of accepting the expenditures or approving the expenditures. Say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public comment. <laughs> okay, normal. Yeah, yeah, right? One of these <laughs> days? Just, I'm just going to grab some. It's fine. What would you like to say? The library expense report. Oh, all right. Are you doing under my report, too? Is this the one that you sent with the expenses? Yes. Okay, I'm, not, not that doesn't the, look like not the vouchers. Not the vouchers. Okay, the actual budget. Yeah. Okay. Because um, um, I think this is the time. All right. Fine. I just wanted to. So we're sixty-seven percent of the, through the year at this time. So as it, as I went through each of the accounts, we have um, we have not applied things like our BSI meeting room or our self checks, but we should have enough money in the budget. So the motions that we made to take from um, fund balance, fund balance, probably is not necessary. We will have enough money to take care of some other things that are probably going to come up at our next meeting. Okay. I know that are going to come up at our next meeting. meeting. Um, but if I look through the uh, page seven of that report, uh, sixty-six percent um, means that, that we have to, to reach the sixty-six point six percent. We were. Underspending at sixty-five thousand, so that covers the kind of projects that we already did in the. And that underspending is that due to like some of the people leaving and salaries yeah, and stuff like that. I think that. that's a big part of it. Um, also, we had a, a additional funds added to our budget that were rollovers from last year. So yeah. that was about eighty thousand. Yeah, you know, which we really thought we should have moved into fund balance, but well, we. Oh, we're going to spend it this way. Yeah. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the next page, so I look through the calculations. We are a little bit late on our revenues. The next one I wanted to point out was uh, page 14, 66% uh, uh, would be 423, 587, so we're 74,741 right there. So another nice chunk of money there. We do have one more part of the roof that we'll have to be asked to. Jay has already asked me to consider having repaired this year, before we actually do the roof, and this is the um, insulation around the heat duct up, up, up above the roof that the air handlers connect to, and that repair is about $10,000. Okay. 
And that would be money coming from? From, uh, we, pull it we, under, we put it under um, contract. So, so it is money we already have yeah, in the budget. Yeah, it's just that we do it earlier. Um, just out of curiosity, why earlier? And, and I'm, I'm glad we are. It's probably losing a lot of heat. Yeah, well, we, 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 we couldn't keep playing with the numbers for the roof that got um, approved last night. Oh, OK. So the, we, we learned the, this additional cost after the um, capital was for, for the for the common council to approve. So we we could do this ahead of time, and it won't affect the roofing project. It's just another thing to do. We'll make some weeks. Okay. Just to be aware of that expenditure, and then since it is, you know, if, if the library board at the end of the year wants to reconcile it comes to make things. Right to make motions to where the money has gone and been spent, we can do that at some other point, but we'll just put it on one of these accounts and call it. We usually have not done that. We usually have left that up to the director to make the decisions on stuff sure. like that when you come in at the end of the year. So. But, we won't go but over you're over. welcome to share what you've done. We shouldn't go over budget, I guess, is what I'm saying. It's just the, the, the bottom line, we should be okay. Good. That the That's and all great. A couple others. And that eliminates some, some of the costs for the ongoing future years. So, it's a nice thing to And it's probably going to be cheaper this year to get it done than next year, the way prices are going up. Probably. <laughs> I didn't right. notice any other things here to talk about other than make sure that I'm covered. Yeah, there's a little bit of help too. So, okay. Great. I'm done with that. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Now it's the library director's report. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, I gave you, I love the, your, your spot, Erica's report. Um, it's very nice that she is a solid performer in this report every month, and I appreciate that. Um, so, the, um, our story walk this month is for Forbes Senior. Senior Panda, I just don't know if I speak very well uh, Spanish. Um, I can't speak very well English, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm trying <laughs> to take classes at Casa. Um, so we, we met with the, the people in Casa about the Lupe, and, and this is one of the things I recommended. Um, also, putting some signage up in the library that's a little more welcoming since our people are native Spanish speakers, um, a little bit more directional flow of where to find things in our library. So those are things that we're going to put in on our to-do list and, and uh, work with our friends at CASA. Um, I promised a six-month recap, and it has been a very busy year for me, and um, <laughs> we've made a lot of changes. The staff reorganization happened faster than expected. So that was a big change, and we're still learning from that and growing from that. Um, today we met with our I believe our last of the library associate hires um, to set up her schedule. She'll be starting next week, um, working with Nancy and myself, and maybe um, Emily as well to do uh, a number of things. So that hiring actually we, we turned out that we had some some really good people in the sea of people that were. It was hard to find the really good people. But we did find. The six really good people there, and we have a, a lead on a seventh for next year already. So, one of our current staff members is going to be um, And we have other applicants to consider as well. So, we should be okay with the library associate two position. Um, we will be hiring uh, library associate ones or service assistants in the upcoming months, but they're essentially fully staffed except for those two people that are departing or have departed recently. So um, it seems like we're, we're settling down there. One of those was B, right? B, B retired and we'll have another retirement coming up. <coughs> the same day she retired, she turned in her paperwork to be a volunteer at the library. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. And she's my only friend on Facebook. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Um, so the other, the other things that we, we 
done is we've done pretty well at organizing a friends group. We've got a little bit of work to do to get some leadership going there um, because that's that's the, the one challenging part in, in any organization is having somebody lead the show and make sure that, that things are going in the right direction. Um, with that, the 501c3 paperwork was filed last week, I believe. Yes. So we are on track to get that going. And, and I put in our budget goals that we should have a foundation next year. Maybe that's a little ambitious, but I think we can do it. It might be easier to do the foundation than it was to do the <laughs> friends group. But now we've got practice. So. Now we've got practice, yeah. Don't forget, too, the book sale starts this week. So, yeah. so please huge. come and buy some books. Come and buy some books. And if you're, if you're, if you know somebody who wants to put in some labor hours for the library, I think uh, Wednesday we are already planning to scrub the benches out front. The teak benches that are gray, they should be a orangey goldish color. So we're going to scrub those and then we'll pick up some teak oil and, and uh, a little lot before winter. And hopefully they'll be in good shape by spring and we'll do it again then. So it'll look a lot nicer at that point. Good. So Wednesday, starting, I'm excited to start teaching people how to do it at 3.30. So if you want to scrub some benches, you can join us. Um, so that's the Friends status right now, and then the book sale on Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's going to be huge. Um, then we did this project, of course, as I showed, I showed a little bit of how it works. It's, you plug in your device. And we have a Zoom meeting going on. It's not really going on live, but um, let me see if I can bring that up. Okay. Here we are. So this is us. <laughs> <laughs> what a good looking what group. A, what a good <laughs> Yeah, wow. Um, it's not being broadcast, so it's just, I, I said we have a meet, start a meeting, and I didn't give any other information, so um, it's not being recorded either. But it's a nice nice system, so if we do have problems in the future where we need to be meeting remotely or... Um, Even voting remotely on Voting remotely or, or some kind of combo, if somebody's out and they want to participate, this is a great tool for them to join us. So they'd come up on the screen instead of just us. Okay. I'm going to turn that off now since we're Sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> the self-checks, uh, we were just talking briefly before the meeting. They're in and they're up and running. We have a couple glitches. Hardware is, is not all consistent. So, um, and and uh, we're working on that with Envisionware. Uh, all of our problems, which are very few actually, there's only three issues that have been identified right now are being expedited by their engineers. And um, we believe that they'll be resolved very shortly. Um, so that's the, down here we have three self-checks and one upstairs. The one that's a landscape mode, we're not sure that it's, uh, the hardware is in, in um, good shape, so we may be uh, working with them as a return to get a new one. But they will make it work. Um, I can tell this this board, I know we were going to talk about it publicly, but we can't talk about it publicly, even though this is going to be public, I guess. Um, we, we do have zoo passes that will be ready for circulation on Thursday. Um, the zoo has tech restrictions on what we can share with the public as far as having zoo passes. So each pass allows eight people in um, to the zoo and allows for parking. So it's free admission plus parking for up to eight people. Can't share publicly, like I said. But uh, word of mouth will get the information out there fast enough, and I'll probably be circulating those all the time. With that, we also got some tickets and some special event things, so we'll be doing a prize drawing for those, and a prize drawing for the total tickets that are coming up to in the near future. So, are those for like a 24 hour thing? The a checkout? A checkout? The passes check uh, check out for seven days. They do oh. seven days. Wow. Okay. So okay. Uh, that way you have them for sure when you're gonna go. Nice. Okay. Because yeah, there's no hold on it, so you have to stop here and grab the pass. Oh, there is no way you can go online and, yeah, and request or place hold. holds on it. Okay. Okay. Because hmm. that would mean so they can't use it for that time. So hopefully they. 
Right. Get in and use it in their seven days and bring it back. Okay. And we can get more zoo passes, and there's also um, a domes pass, uh, which is um, fifty dollars. We might be looking at as well. So, since I think the moment, I mean, mm, yeah. Uh, one of the things that we're working on, and we haven't talked about much in the library, but I did budget it for it, is the AOI's collection development software. I'm just looking okay. to see if I have my reports here. I thought it was Snacks. With the board members. <laughs> snacks. Darn, Steve, you let me down again. What was it? <laughs> That's what I was hoping it was snacks for the board. Oh. <laughs> Edelweiss boat cruise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> little wine and whiskey. Since I have the tools right here, um, I'll just put it up. What does the Edelweiss software do? It tells us about our collection. Here it is. Okay. It tells us about our collection. So I'm going to just. Darcy and Emily are both looking at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you just explain it instead? Yeah. Briefly. It'd be great to show you it because it tells you exactly what you need, what, what your collection needs for turnover and, and freshness. And we talked about this briefly oh. before. But we, the, I was going to show you the second report. We had two reports now, and we've already made some real progress in having a, a fresh collection, a higher turnover rate. And that's also noted in our budget, one of our goals. Mm -hmm. When you get that, just email. Can you just email the report to the, email you the report. just so we can see what it looks and like? We'll, we'll see what it, well, I'll, I'll send you both PDF and a link. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, we also started the. Um, it's going to it's going to come up now. We also started a Wisconsin. Now that we talked about it. Right. Uh, maybe it's not going to come up. Uh, a Wisconsin collection. So we're taking Wisconsin Historical Society press materials. And separating them all so that we highlight Wisconsin resources that are in our collection. Oh, that's um, nice. Hopefully, we'll see a lot more use of those resources with that. Um, there we are. So, this gives me the state of the collection report. Freshness, we're up to 3.5. This is on a scale of 1 to 5. So, we're getting the, the books that are fresh and hot right now. Um, relevant, we're doing all right there. Um, hit rate, we've got great books coming in, and our turnover is a little bit light in there. Like we're not getting um, up to that middle of the mark yet. So if I click on this, it should bring me to the analyze. And that's why <laughs> we don't show you the whole report. But it does. We do now, what will you be using this purpose, the purpose, just to analyze the collection or yep. to make so, changes? Right, so what's being used is a turnover, so uh, 1.8 um, turns per year per item in our library. So that and it's up 12 percent? Yep, 12.3 percent overall. So 1.8 does not equal to 12.3 percent, it's right. on a scale of 1 to 5, so um, it, it was up 12.3 percent since our last report. In, um, oh. So it was like 1.6 or 1.5 something. Yeah. Prior to. 
So in August was was uh, at one point five, I believe. Yeah. Right. So, it tells you what the people of West Bend like to read, doesn't it? It does tell you what they like to read. The top five streets, you see four of them there. Uh, I wonder if I can read them. Board books, four or five. Is it? Yes. It's children's books, yeah. Education, yeah. bottom, sports. <laughs> yeah. Business right. and economics, wow. That's pretty telling. Yes, so it this is. is just our library. It compares our library to other libraries in, in uh, the United States. But that data is from our library. Yeah, this is our this is our specific library, our collection. Um, and then it also we can compare ourselves to independent bookstores and see what they're purchasing um, in mass. And, and, and this gives us an opportunity, like we've talked about having certain courses or classes or. Things you know, we gotta get some of those uh, sports things. Not sports. <laughs> <laughs> well, knowing um, knowing what the strengths sports. are and what kind of our bottom was, you now know what you can highlight or promote or you know get rid end, of end of the yeah. shelf. You know, oh, yeah. advertisement or point yeah. of you know. Well, there's a lot of decisions that are, are made with this kind of information. I guess you have to get more romance novels. <laughs> Romance is always a high. We did live in a yes. pandemic for the last 18 months. So, yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but, you know, there's, there's two sides of it. Yes, we can get rid of some things that are not moving. Yeah. And we can see trends in that direction. Now, this is not going to be popular in West Bend. It might be... See, I look at it as an opportunity. we got to start stressing some of these things. we got to push... Some, and you're right. Some of oh, we those are educational push. things. And that's what we're doing right. with the Wisconsin collection is we're going yeah. to push that collection so that we have a higher turnover rate there than what we had previously. Okay. Um, but we're probably not going to um, have a lot of call for cooking with whale oil. In <laughs> you never Wisconsin. know. So, <laughs> Price of food going up. <laughs> what? Who knows? So that's something that we probably wouldn't want to add to our collection or something like sure. that that is not going to be relevant to our collection. Gotcha. Sure. And this is going to help us determine what's what's popping, what's what people really like. And um, I'd love to show you the full thing, but Brad told me I shouldn't show you everything. So. That's okay. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah, <laughs> that Brad. So this is a this is a big step for us. In addition to the few the few things we did already, um, this cool. will be a big uh, step for this us. This is a good statistical mm -hmm. thing. I think I think this is yeah. Well, it sounds like it can be very helpful. Yeah. In multiple yeah. ways. To streamline our collection yeah. and to make space for things like uh, more <laughs> local CDs or locally created works. Um, or just space for people, which we might need soon. The reason why it's not a problem. I said, I can't believe that math is, the is lowest. higher than education. Oh, math is fun. What? <laughs> Well, anyway. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. moving on. It could on. be because it's linked up with science and law. I'm just saying, like, right. you know, sometimes when you generalize That's what I'm guessing, things, too. They're bringing it right. down. Let's go with that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're looking at, well, you're looking at this. You've actually brought it in. You must be using it already. Well, or we have a trial test the trial. October. Okay. Um, and what is the, the cost of the license? The full package is uh, a little over... Between five and six thousand dollars. I don't know like, the exact price. Um, and are, it's well worth it to get material that's. Are there many time. other libraries in the Monarch system using utilizing this? No, we'd be the first actually. Using this okay. System. okay. Look at us. Campsetters. Yeah. Blazers. <laughs> we wouldn't be the first in the state because I learned this from other people. Well, that's okay. We, looked at it, um, we won't mention that. There are different tiers to the to the program, and that's part of what I'm looking for for a recommendation from Emily and um, Darcy, okay. who are doing that in-depth analysis. Of, yeah, because okay. um, the state of the collection report is one part of it. There's also other parts that go along with that program, um, and anybody can get an Edelweiss account so they can know what is new and coming up. They don't get the collection development because they don't have a collection to develop. <laughs> and, uh, but that's a free Some account. of us don't. Some of us don't. Some, Some of us don't. have a big collection. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know if you can, I don't know if it would help with that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, 
And then I've been spending a lot of time building relationships with, of course, CASA I talked about. Went out to talk to the um, technical college librarian last week, um, the Tower History Center, um, all kinds of people in, in the community. Nice. You did do that. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. Maybe the, sorry, I dimed you out in front of the council, okay? Because yeah. the president's report from last month, that was the only thing she had, so I had to put it in there. You were speaking. The president's report. You had failed to mention it in your portion. So. <laughs> okay. I didn't, I didn't know what part, okay. part of was my job there. So, um, I, don't know, I think that pretty much covers the, the, what we've done in six months. Which is, nice. Um, wore me out pretty good. Any questions? Doing a great job, Steve. Hi, hi. I guess before uh, uh, before you come back and ask God for the funds, some for the Edelweiss thing, if it if it goes away, I guess so one question I would have is is how do how do the analytics uh, differ from the kinds of analytics we could do internally with the circulation numbers that we have? I guess we we want to know that before we. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I hopefully I'll get that report from the um, the team soon, and I'll share it. That'll mm -hmm. be part of that, I imagine, uh, because I said this is a value that. Right. And, and you're right. looking at this. You didn't necessarily say you were going to come and ask for funding because you said there's some funds in. Are yes. you you are looking at this in your current budget already? Yeah, we can yeah. do this in our current budget. Okay. Um, and it is. The funds for the full package are in the budget for the next year. Okay. Um, if that's what we decide to go with. And, uh, okay. It's more just informational purposes at this right time. Now it's informational purposes, yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Anything else on your director's report? No. Do we have an update on Monarch? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Yeah, we do. They did offer the position to uh, a director for Monarch. Riddy Grover is the person that they offered the position to. I can say that both of you now, I guess. <laughs> okay. And I guess she'll be starting October 1st, I think. Yeah, the first week of October. Mm -hmm. Sometime. So. Yeah. Okay. And I'll send out more information about that if there's a meet and greet. Um, oh, that would be good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. If nothing else, we'll move on to the library board uh, president's report. One of the things I am at fault, I didn't put on the agenda this month, was the policy committee, which was one of the tasks listed. Um, but in lieu of the fact that um, Steve has found money or there is money in the current budget, we should get a policy in place for this, but it isn't as um, urgent right now. So. It's, uh, Steve and I will be meeting this in the next couple of weeks to talk about the policy committee and other things and, and then we'll probably have one or two people ask one or two people to be on that and also one or two of your staff to assist on that where you can review the policies that are out there we've done some but you know review and see if there are any others that need to be updated okay. And then probably have a policy on the spending from the fund balance at that time. The other thing, this isn't for Steve, this is for the board. Guess what time of year it is again? Evaluation. Oh, that's what education comes from. I trained you well. <laughs> so, Good job, um, team. <laughs> I'll probably get a copy of the evaluation form that the city has and we'll, I'll mail it out and you can start thinking about it, okay? So, right. Okay, any questions for me? If not, we'll move on to new business, the 2022 budget, number eight. eight. Yeah. That's the handout to you put there. Sorry it didn't come <coughs> earlier, excuse me. You just met with the city this yep. morning, so. I met with uh, the city this morning. There's a couple of minor things that aren't reflected on there. The first page, those numbers underneath library associates, and even actually the position 
other deputy director of library association to cross off. Okay. But one of the things, as we're going to go through this, we'll go through the budget today. We're not going to approve it. We will need to have, because of the county con agreement not being out, and they, that needs to be approved by us before the county board meets, and I think, what, they meet in two weeks or something? So we may, we, we not may, we will need a special um, session, which will be a quick one to talk about, you know, to, to actually approve the budget and approve the county contract at that time. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, I, I can tell you that she was trying to have the agreement on today, yes, or yesterday actually, and we didn't get it yet, so it may be stuck at legal for a little bit. Um, I imagine that's the hold up, so we'll see how that goes. And again, just to reiterate, this is actually the county c contract that we would always sign every five years but it's been modified because they've pulled out now the fact that the county would be giving us capital and the city would have a, a match on the capital that because the county no longer gives us the capital. So it's going to be very similar to the contracts we had been signing all along with the elimination of that. And then there was one thing they were going to add. Well, actually, we're going to leave that in there is in case the county decides to... Oh, again. okay. So that will still be in there. So the difference is that we asked for is to base the reimbursement on the previous year's circulation or the previous year's annual report. So just like other libraries in the state, um, the, it'll be easier for us to know what we're going to get from year to year because we're basing it on a certain, the, the previous year's annual report. So that's actually two years behind. But we'll get. Um, or re requested and, and it was approved at the committee meeting that we would get 100% cost of reimbursement for each of the libraries. Uh, the current formula is a little bit uh, weird that some libraries got more than 100%, some libraries got less than 100% because they all got one cost to circulation number no matter what their cost was. So I think they took the average cost per circulation and applied to all libraries. Um, we also ask that they um, pay us twice a year instead of four times a year. Uh, eliminate the 5% reserve because we do not need that when it's based on the previous year's expenditures, or the previous two years' expenditures, because it was that. Why did it go to the twice a year payment from four? Because it's simpler for us is we have our money in February and July. Oh, okay. Okay. I was okay. I was thinking they were going to give it to us in June, and December. February, okay. July were the agreed upon agreed dates. dates. Okay. In the past, we we've always gone in arrears with the county, no matter what, because they never gave us the money up in January. So we always were pulling on a fund balance to cover it till the monies came. They were still going to pay for our automation costs. And then this year there was a, um, because the other libraries, the other counties did not have the circulation that our left county did because we stayed open, there's some funding there that gets divided between the libraries. Um, the note about that is we are going to be the recipients of all that money, but we are expected to distribute all that money to the other libraries or West Bend is? Yeah. We're getting a fee for that? Um, we should, and I will be talking to Carrie about uh, a fee for managing that distribution. It'll be a very small fee. It would be small, but we, there should be something that would be. But with this new agreement, Brad doesn't have to run the numbers because it's all based on prior years sure. in the reports. Uh, but all that information comes from, this, from the system, so it's a lot, a lot uh, cleaner for us and a lot less, less for Brad to do. Okay. I have a question, I guess, with the with the change to basic the funding on the previous year's circulation, is that going to cause us a hiccup when, it, when it's based on 2019, when the circulation dropped a lot? It's not going to be a big deal. Actually, mm -hmm. our next year's funding is really, and that's why our, our, I say our, our budget with our county funding should be the same as what it was previously. It's essentially what we got last year, we're going to get this year again. That's the hiccup. And then moving forward, it should be, uh, it will okay. change slightly. Okay. 
Actually, in 2019, we'd probably have done better because we we were open a little longer than some of the other. If they would have taken it that way, and that was that's a issue with the other libraries. Right. We did okay. Okay. I ran the numbers, and it was it was good. Okay. Thanks. So. Okay. We'll go back to the budget then. I'm sorry <laughs> to have. We, we did. Uh, we did B. We did eight B. So we're done with that, and uh, now we're back to eight A. <laughs> um. So. The library associate numbers on meet those have changed. Uh, the one under collection manager is 0.75, the other three are 1.1, 1 .1, and this one on the far left, underneath Brad's direction, is, is eliminated. Um, we didn't have quite enough money to do that reasonably. On the second page, the only change that I had was a 3.59, should be by the Library Associate 2 is instead of 4.79. And we had tried for an extra Library Associate and it just didn't work for the actual class. So the next page is, is our restructuring. We talked about this already. Um, there may be changes coming yet, but I um, anticipate that as the plan for 2022. Uh, page 3. We'll bring you some new pictures, or a new picture here, coming. Uh, the um, changes in performance measurements that I added since last you saw this was I added the digital use of materials. Uh, actual 2020 was 71,659, and I'm projecting 2022 budget to be 78,824. Probably more than that, but I thought it would be good to have that number in there. Um, then I went to the goals, uh, improve collection relevance and turnover by 20%. So we're already on track for that this year. Hopefully that doesn't get us in the book next year. It isn't, uh, whatever. Um, bridges, these were calculated based on the salaries and wages reviewed by uh, the finance department. Telephone. We were able to reduce the number of lines that we had coming into the building. Um, we did all of what we have for phone lines, we had only two centric lines and several of the DOIP lines that would be used to lower our costs there. Page seven, we did lower our costs by only three of security scripts. We added monies for children's programs and adult programs and things. Um, the other things here that came up, nothing new in, in the office and operating supplies. You're on page six. Oh, I was in seven, sorry. Do you have six? Okay. Oh, I'm zipping Okay, okay. Sorry. So it's page six, pardon me. Um, library materials up on top, we did add some of the library materials to cover the cost of Hoopla that we added. And then to, and also the, uh, that was $10,000. And I had hoped to add the cost of Adelize up there, but we did have to draw that back. So we just reduced some of our other collection expenditures, which shouldn't be a big deal because we have a better tool for collection development. So mm -hmm. we should have a better quality collection. The gas and oil uh, went up a little bit, and we pulled out the oil changes, so that actually shouldn't say N4 oil changes. That oil change goes to the next page, or the next uh, heading, whichever is on yours, of equipment maintenance. It should be vehicle maintenance for $200 for oil changes. Um, let me just go back. We're You've added the T-shirts and the yard signs. That this year we took that out of fund balance, but now you put it in the budget, which is good. Yes, I mean we're actually taking out fund balance in the end because we have enough money. Money to do so that yeah. Um, <clears throat> and we won't buy as many signs next year because we have some left over from this year. Okay, good. Well, I don't know if it's good, but. <laughs> well, next year's a bigger year for elections anyway, right? There you go. A lot of signs. A lot of signs. 
<laughs> okay, going into equipment. Um, equipment maintenance, so I told you about the vehicle maintenance. Um, the other thing that changed, we have Envisionware software for self-checks instead of the 3M, but that's a savings there. Um, a lot of these things did go up, so... What's the average that they've all gone up about? About 5%. 5%? Yeah. And that follows through with contractual services. But fuel and heating, we did the uh, same there. Light and power, we did a, a slight reduction from last year because we <laughs> had never hit the, the number that we had in there before. Um, that was to make the budget match. Of course, this is the first year now with the basement, so we might have a little bit higher electrical. Mm -hmm. Possible. I don't know. Okay. Um, water, water is um, what the water rate went up a little bit. So yes, it did. Contractual services, this is all up 5% pretty much. Okay. First, management didn't change much, but it's and health insurance didn't change at all in this rendition. In the admin special purpose, we maintain our professional membership and um, what I brought to the library board the last time. So that's all the same. Hopefully we get more people trained and eligible. I don't know what conferences will be like in the fall or in the spring, but that's hopefully we'll have some people going to conferences. Uh, we will be uh, purchasing more computers this year. That may change our, our need for upgrade. Um, coming up, so if there's a, if there's a need to reduce, we have to. We have to be uh, janitorial supplies were um, <coughs> we were already on track to exceed what we had budgeted. I hope to have enough in there to do some of the minor projects that come up from time to time, which seems to happen just about every time we get together. Um, but that was one where I hit because we, I wanted to be in that range of reasonableness. And then the next page I have is the department detail. This gives you the actuals of, as of 6.30. Um, so it's a good tool to, to see where we were in the middle of the year. Our bills are not all consistent with space 12 months, but uh, um, it's still a pretty good idea where we're at. The note on this page is the second from the bottom line before the first grand total is a salary market correction of 46334 was um, we were told the budget for. If that salary study goes through, that would be applied to wages. Looking over to the revenues, I did reduce, um, hopefully your um, leadership reflects it, but fines I did reduce to 20000 instead of 22000 we eliminated the book sales from our revenues because that's going to be part of the friends money and they're going to run it. Um, not much has changed there besides those two things. Um, interest is one that um, we had, your copy should say $1,000 mm -hmm. we budgeted. I see I got the old copy in my hand, that's why it's not matching up. Um, so we dropped a lot in interest because we've only received so far $440 in interest. What causes that? I mean, what, what uh, was the mindset of thinking that we were going to bring in $8,000 well, in interest? Well, the rates had spiked for a while. Sure. So I'm sure that was a large part of it. Sure. I mean, my interest, my, my bank account was getting like 2 or 3% for like four months and then it dropped back down. Sure. Um, yeah, that would be my guess. It's largely because the rates had increased, so we were like, yeah, more interest, and then it never happened. Right, okay. 
<clears throat> and we can't put our money into like a, a fund, uh, a managed fund or anything like that. No, like, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's just a dramatic it is huge. range <clears throat> from thinking, you know, 8,000 to 450. Yeah. So I figured there was a reason rates make, make sense. Um, don't we get interest, though, from the city uh, based on the money? We do. And that We're part of uh, some Wisconsin investment pool. Yeah. But it's getting lower and lower. Like 0.5 percent <laughs> interest. Okay. So okay. <laughs> it was up for a while because I was actually just looking at that. Um, okay. <laughs> just just this past weekend, <laughs> um, it was up to like two or three percent. So that was for what a you little were talking brief about period of time, and then it dropped back yeah. down to 0.5. Because really, when the money comes in, that's a pretty large chunk of change. Right. Um, right. You, yeah, but well, and the difference between two percent and 0.5 mm -hmm. percent is pretty significant. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. absolutely. Okay. So, bottom line, I think um, what I had when I looked at this, uh, I asked how much more we're asking from the city, and Steve's comment was. The 815000 in the tax levy is because of the um, salary, market correction salary, basically. And the city is aware of that, and they would be giving us that money. Right. Okay. So if we took that money away, where would we have stood compared to last year? I think it was 768000 for some reason, I'm thinking that. Uh, 748832. Oh, okay. I just did this calculation. I had it written down, but I want to just double check. Okay, dope. So, 748. So, that'd be 65. It's 45. So. And if we do a, a market cap correction, that in that market cap correction, does that include the uh, FICA, you know, uh, I mean, okay, that, oh, so that's fringes. the, yeah. that's all the fringes, okay. So basically, 750, 50, we're asking for about 20,000 more, I think. That's what I was thinking. That's what you were thinking. I was taking my head. What was our correction here? Give or take a couple. Um, 28539. 28? Oh. Okay. That's what I'm asking for. Okay. I was told already that we were going to get to 40,000. This is good. This is good. Okay. 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 Questions. Um, does anyone have questions for Steve? And again, this is based on the county estimate that we have, we really don't know if this is the true county dollar amount coming in. Well, if, it's close. if the <laughs> agreement goes through as proposed, mm -hmm. it would be correct. Okay. Be that the right numbers, with the exception of the additional funds that would be distributed um, for library resources. Like, well, we used to have a resource library <clears> fund <throat> that we're going to split with the other libraries. Um, that total fund $150,000. Okay. That, so that would be an addition to what we're actually asking? Or what yeah, that'd be a, a, that would be an additional dollar amount that the county would give us because of the disbursement, but that would be a one time disbursement. There's no guarantee for year to year. Okay. Yeah. So, and this is mainly because the Act 420 payments outside of the county were lower. Yes. So, so what happens next year? Well, well, not many falls just opened recently, so they weren't even open for part of this year. And th there's going to be some ripples in the library world because of the closings and reopenings. Um, budgets are not going to be, uh, and cost of circulation is going to be kind of wild for a while, so mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I'm glad that this library didn't close for the entire year. Yeah, yeah. That's terrible. For us. Any questions? Um, again, we will not be approving this, 
because there may be some changes. So it'll give people a little bit of a chance to go through it a little more. Mm -hmm. And if they have questions, then please feel free to contact Steve. And then Steve, if people have questions, if you would let the entire board know what the questions are. Sure. Well, that'd be helpful so we're not all asking the same thing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when do we need to have our special meeting for the county? Um, we don't know yet. And do you want it to be a Zoom meeting? Or what, what does the board want to? Doesn't matter. Depends on what it is. Right. When it is. When it is. When it is, because yeah. I'm leaving next week. You are. County, the city's got a budget going. Right. My goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to South Carolina for a week. Uh, okay. Um, do you want to look at a date when you think you'll have this stuff, or do you want to wait? I'd rather wait, wait till, I have till we get the hands stuff hands from the county. It could, be, it could be delayed for some reason. Okay. Have the document. Okay. Um, when the document comes out, you would include it. You know, if if you send out a, a letter saying we need to have a meeting, you know, these are potential dates. Send the document so that way this can be pretty much of an expedient meeting where we would come in and just approve it. Um, same thing with the budget. Yeah. Good. Also, if you could, in the contract, and I can sit with, we could maybe highlight what the changes were, because it wouldn't, doesn't pay for us to go through the full document if there's only certain areas that have changed. Yeah. Okay. Again, this document is the one that has to be signed by every library board president in Washington County, every mayor of the cities that the libraries are in, and then it goes to the county. So it's a, it's gonna be looked at a little bit, and it, it has in the past. And it'll probably be changed again next, in next year. They're looking at doing it. I request that those monies were distributed proportionally to the libraries in the future, so that would be out of that business. Yeah, kind of so, close. and that was one of the things that the county had said, it might be an annual, it had been a five-year contract, but now it might be at a, annual contract, probably with minimal changes. Yeah. Okay. Any questions for Steve? Come visit if you want to see the AOIs. <laughs> Is there any, um, anything you want Steve to check regarding county budget, anything? No? Okay. With that, our next meeting will be October 19th, and again, that would be too late because I think the county is approving their budget probably in October, uh, third week or something. Oh, the next it has big meeting have the on the 4th and then the 11th. The 11th is the board meeting. Probably. So we definitely need to have our budget approved prior to the 11th meeting. Um, mm -hmm and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll have all the information before then. Uh, okay. okay, next regular meeting is October 19th. The assigned tasks. Do you still want him to do the PDF or whatever of the Edelweiss because he finally we got that up? We don't have to. I don't. I'll, uh, I'll send it out anyway. Okay. Okay. Why not? Why not? It's an early Christmas present. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you have uh, all the functionality because the PDF for me even actually I can click on Different things. things. And they'll bring up the explanations or whatever mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. extra ditties. So it, it's better if you won't come and visit me, I'll show you it. All right. That's it. That's it. Okay. It is. I know the annual review. Oh, the, yeah, I'll, I'll send, we'll send out the <coughs> appraisal process yep. for the, the document and stuff like that. Thank you. Thank you. That's your work. <laughs> um, <laughs> With that, we are adjourned. It is 5, 6, 50, oh, 6. Oh, six.